welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss Quincy Taylor Brown. He is the son of Kim Porter and I'll be sure. And I thought it was interesting that I've looked him up before and his name came out to Quincy Combs. And also adding to that, when I've looked him up, the Wikipedia doesn't pop out right away. I had to kind of search for it. I had to type in the wiki part. And then his information came out, which I thought it was quite odd. Kind of as odd as when I tried to look up his mother and her Wikipedia was selected to be deleted, which was very strange. But anyway, I want to talk about how I feel like this young man is in serious danger. I mean, he's 33 years old or 32. And to me, I still see a very young man. And it's probably because he has a baby face and he hasn't really changed much over the years. But he is a man. He's not even a young man. He's almost middle aged, but that's besides the point. The reason why I think he's in danger is because at this point, there has been so many things coming out of the woodworks about Diddy his quote unquote stepdad. And I think that it has made him question what happened to his mother? How is it that a few days ago, you guys are celebrating a premiere of a show or a movie of some sort. And then all of a sudden she's gone. And I could understand the concerns. Now, Quincy was born June 4th, 1991, and he met Diddy around the time he was three years old. So he was quite young and his mother was in a relationship, was married to his father, and they kept that a secret. But some way, somehow she got connected to Diddy and they happened to be actually in the same type of music group they had some type of label going on and i guess diddy put the charm on and found a way to whisk this woman away sweep her off her feet and he got her now over the years i saw that that relationship was really not going anywhere she was going to be the certified bona fide girlfriend for the rest of her life. She was only married once. Did he never married her? And it was apparent that he was never going to be loyal or be faithful to any woman. So being married just wouldn't make sense. And when she passed away, it was very, it was so out of the blue. It was so out of the blue because this woman, was very healthy, very strong. She looked like she worked out, she ate right. And so many things have, has come to the surface about how the doctor that she initially had, the, the, the coroner who initially examined her body said that this was a, you know, a, a, a homicide, but then he disappears off of the face of the earth, ends up dead. And a new doctor was assigned to her and the, the coroner, a new coroner was assigned to her. And he said that, it, that she had uh, some breathing problems and pneumonia, walking pneumonia. And there's still signs when you have walking pneumonia, even though you're active, it does get harder to breathe. You do start looking a little sickly and clammy. It's not, you just wake up one morning and you're in heaven, right? That's just not how it goes. So I see that now, I see now Quincy Brown is slowly separating himself from Diddy. Diddy has stopped his bag when he tried to get with Century 21, try to get into films, try to get into Empire, all that stuff. It was shot down the drain. 
And of course, this could be because of the beef between Diddy and 50 Cent, but it doesn't change the fact that this kid has wanted to break out, you know, as a star, and he hasn't been able to reach the success that he's always wanted to because Diddy does not want anyone but himself to be the main character. I also see that when he tries to get closer to his father, he has to sort of play both sides. Like he'll make posts about his dad and then immediately make a post about Diddy. Or when his father, Albie Shore, came out and said, something sketch happened here to my ex-wife, then he had to retract that statement. Do you get what I'm saying? And I think that Quincy has spoke to Albie Shore and said, this man that I call my stepdad is actually a very dangerous person and I don't want anything to happen to you. So I have to come off like I'm shading you. I have to come off like I don't trust or believe anything you say. But the truth is, Quincy is scared for his life. Diddy has made it so hard for this young man to make any of his own personal choices by feeding him money, by feeding him the promise of fame, by feeding him all the type of luxury that a young kid would want, right? It's so hard to be a teenager and to turn down a nice Lambo, a beautiful $50,000 chain, you know, a nice house, girls. But I think one thing about him is he's not down with the get down and the FOs that Diddy has been a part of for all this time. Diddy and all his other friends, Diddy's son, They've been involved in some real shady stuff, but I haven't heard anything about Quincy. And I think because Quincy deep down knew something was wrong with this guy by how he treated his mother, but also by the fact that a lot of things that his biological father was telling him was coming to fruition. And I believe that he did everything possible to kind of separate himself, kind of be the, 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 the kid that rather be in his room or the kid that rather be downstairs when the party is going down, the kid that rather be in the pool when all this craziness is going down or the kid that's planning to hang out with his friends and doesn't have time to come to these events with Diddy. And I don't think that Diddy saw that coming Maybe Diddy looked at it more like, oh, he's just like a weirdo and like he doesn't really feel that accepted. So whatever. He's not my kid anyway. I just took him in to get back at I'll be sure. I really believe that's what happened. I think that he has a vendetta against I'll be sure because he was the first one to get with Kim Porter. Diddy says he's not a jealous man he rather do his thing all this other stuff but when it comes to the women in his life they are very much controlled they're not allowed to go and see other men especially if he's dropping thousands of dollars just for their company and why would a man who has this much game and fame need to drop a bunch of bags on women to keep them around i don't know but it could be because he's highly insecure, he doesn't have a personality or a strong sense of self. And so he relies on his riches and his fame to get in between women, okay? And it sucks because I can see deep in Quincy's eyes that he's sad, that he's scared, and that he's burdened because if he does leave the whole thing, which is also very weak-minded, if he leaves the connection with Diddy, Diddy could retaliate and blackball him like he's blackballed so many other artists and has taken out other people, allegedly. 
So I could understand Quincy's fears, but I think it's time for Quincy to see his power and to unite with his family, unite with the people that love him, unite with those that believe in him and spread his wings on his own without Diddy. But when you're being brainwashed constantly, being told in your ear, and see, this is the thing, these kids, well, he's grown now, but these people are usually isolated. They're isolated from the outside, so they know only of their world, of their own world, the Hollywood world. And what a lot of people don't know is that Hollywood is ran by the, you know what, I'm not going to say that because I don't, I don't want to get flagged, but Hollywood is a very scary place. And I'm telling you this as a person who's been in Hollywood, a person that is an actress, a person that's in the entertainment industry. It is a very dangerous industry. And a lot of the reason why we get into this industry is out of being able to express ourselves because as children we weren't able to express ourselves our voice our voices were silenced so much and so we rely on art in order to express ourselves and relieve the load that's on our heart and on our shoulders and on our mind and in our stomach you know what i'm saying so I know that Diddy didn't want to adopt Quincy until he was a teenager. I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe he just didn't feel an attachment to Quincy. I don't know. But maybe he just wasn't sure about Kim Porter, if he was going to be with her long term. However, they ended up having two kids, the twin girls. And I think that's another reason why Quincy does not want to separate because Maybe the girls are a little brainwashed by their dad. And so he's like, I either stick around for my sisters and don't let them get in too deep or I'm going to lose them forever and I'm going to lose the connection I have to my mom. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that for him, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place And maybe the girls are going to realize that something's up. And I think that they're realizing something's up. But when you're in this industry, it's so hard to take the, 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 the goggles off and see that money and fame and power isn't everything. You know, until something really bad happens to you. You know, it's different when it's like to a family member or a parent or like a friend. But when it's you going through something horrendous, then you're rethinking your connection with said person. So I really do think that Quincy is in danger and he needs to find a way out as soon as possible. Because if he doesn't, he's going to be implicated in some, just some real doggone horrible stuff that he won't be able to rope himself out of. Like he just won't be able to. And so... I hope that he takes his dad's advice. I hope that he gets closer with with his father, which I'm seeing that is happening. But I think he also has to keep it at a distance and seem as though he's not that interested in that closeness. Not to make, because he doesn't want to make Diddy mad. He doesn't know what Diddy would do. He knows what he's capable of, but he doesn't know what he would do. If he starts siding with his father, if he decides, you know what, I'm going to live with dad and I'm going to build my career and move forward with dad. He, he knows that he might get blackballed, but other than that, he doesn't know the severe and dangerous implications of that separation. And I would be, I would be kidding you guys if I didn't think that Sean Diddy Combs has been weird with him i don't want to i don't want to make up things i don't want to speculate this is just my personal feelings i feel like diddy might have been weird with him 
in some ways if you catch my drift and Quincy might have been uh, groomed in some kind of way to also keep silent because it is shameful in many societies and still in ours to have gone through that as a man because you're not going to tell me that Diddy is such a good dad, but such a horrible businessman, such a horrible individual individual without morals. You can't tell me like, I understand a mistake or two. We all make mistakes. We all don't have the best moral compass when we're younger, but come on, this guy's in his fifties still with the shenanigans okay so my message to quincy like i said before is to get out as fast as you can and you've been there for a while you've been there for a long long time and i also feel like in some ways quincy might feel a kind of way about his mother's decision to be in a relationship with this guy for whatever reason she got in a relationship with Diddy for. Because if it wasn't for that choice, he wouldn't be in this situation, having to choose between his father and Diddy, having to choose between the truth of what really happened to his mother and believing this man who calls himself his stepdad so i leave you with this y'all let me know what you think in the comments about this video and about quincy and what he may be facing really soon tell me if you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment so the algorithms could pick up and you could see more posts of me